Hello, I'm Patricia, located in Chicago. Welcome to my channel. In this video, it is prompted by someone who was very upset, and that person said to me, why does my twin flame hate me? And some people feel that way. Why does someone who, you know, I feel love for, and they hate me so much, okay, this is a huge healing project for all of us and some people are getting through it and other people find it a mental block and a chakra block several chakras get blocked and they feel that there's walls there and they don't understand it or they wonder why does love always leave like why do they have relationships that always break up so the first thing i want to confirm for you is hate and love don't coexist okay hate is a transient emotion what that means is you can feel it come in and out a lot of people have a very pervasive hate that they are like getting up very very it's like welling up very gradually for them believe it or not hate can feel like depression now love love is what runs the universe so that is a primal emotion and it is the fuel that you run on however do people feel hate yes hate is a product of fear and self-preservation now a lot of people apply this to persons in their life that may behave as narcissists if you saw my other video narcissists and twin flames that goes into it in a little more detail but suffice it to say that hate comes as the result of being hurt. And this has happened a lot in a lower vibration, in a lower dimension, sometimes in your past lives. And it just is a very dualistic type of thing. You hurt me equals I hate you. And I hate what you did. And this is all tied in with the ego mind, the emotional body, the heart connection, the reproductive, the crown, a lot of parts of us. It seems to live in our organs also, like the liver, the gut. It tends to be a lower emotion where people kind of absorb the conflict and maybe you have no choice in the matter, but you still feel what you feel. Now, what happens is the result of doing the light body work that I instruct, what happens is after your awakening, you do start lightening up. That is part of the first part of it. But you become aware of other types of related emotions, emotions related to hate. Okay, so there can be a lot of illness with this too. I mean, this can cause chronic illness, chronic fatigue. It can cause things like uh, congestive heart failure. And I'm not kidding about that. I can't go to my doctor and say, listen, I've proven the cause, but when I do my sessions with people and I feel their energy, what it feels like is if they take the low road, they will develop these things because in part it runs in their family. It's a part of their pattern and it's things that they've suffered or endured in the past or they can do the unblocking of their chakras, the opening of their new chakras, and veer into and up-level themselves into another level. Now, it always starts with self-regulation, but sometimes we're not able to, okay? We can feel envious. We can feel envious of their life. There's still an us and them mentality with this. We can feel jealousy. In fact, um, even in my own marriage, my ex-husband said to me, and that's partly why we're exes, shouldn't I be jealous if I love you? And the thing is, is no. Jealousy is not a given when there's love. Jealousy is an indication of uh, self-confidence, confidence in the relationship, distrust, all kinds of other stuff. But it is not indicative of love. It does other things than love does too. When people act and behave from jealousy, it can get very ugly, violent, domestic violence, all kinds of that stuff. When people act and behave from love, it's a totally different direction. It's on the up and up. 
coldness, you're angry at them. Guess who feels this? Now, a little ways back, I did a video where I talked about all forms of separation are ending. What that means is the only persons that are going to feel you sensing envy or being envious is your real twin. It's not going to be a narcissist. This is why you have no effect on a narcissist. But you could have an ugly effect on your poor twin flame over on the other side pining away for you or you for them are you sort of pining for them waiting for them waiting and hoping and wishing get the body work done do the new light body work and hey reconnect reconnect your hearts reconnect your love levels reconnect the connecting areas which are your shared areas your marma points your chakras are for you as a person, as an individual. Your marma points are where you merge. And I know where those are. And I help you with that. I teach you that. That is the value of my work, is that I make it easy with simple instructions and tools that you can use. And you're doing this with yourself, for yourself, but for each other. Everything you do positively benefits your twin flame. Self-regulation, how do you start catching yourself? Well, what if there was a part of you that helped you catch yourself or some other thing came up between you and a person that you're having conflict or hatred with? Maybe we need to stop hating and start being productive. Maybe we need to stop hating and start creating. Okay, it starts with self-regulation, catching your triggers, catching your emotions. Believe it or not, in your new light body, this is a hell of a lot easier. It is so much easier because you literally catch yourself and you feel emotions. Now, substances can make this work. Even common things like having a cup of coffee. So let me ask you a question. Have you had coffee and then maybe 30 minutes to an hour later, you kind of feel sad and weepy? Yeah, you're getting tapped in those areas that hold these other emotions sorrow weepiness it can pass but that doesn't mean you're working on it in my classes i tell you how to work on it so you reconnect that's why i'm called twin flame reconnection so that you can merge connect reconnect and connect to these higher areas of yourself that can actually help you okay where you're not relying on the ego mind you're not taking part in a conversation where you're worried that if someone hates you, how are they going to react? That accounts for a lot of fear. And we're used to it. We're all of us on this planet are used to it. We're like, if I do this, I know they're going to do that. Or if this happens, I know that will happen. This is the driving force behind like survival tools and Honestly, like people sell a lot of products that are for survival. It's not just after storm. Some people are convinced that, you know, the end of something is coming. You don't have to be afraid of that. In fact, your own higher selves will guide you in what to do if that were to happen. We're ending the old paradigm. You're seeing it all around you, but you can rise up to a new level. Let's get you leveled up so that you're able, you're capable. Love is what supports you. Love is what puts you in a good mood every day. Love is what gives you energy. Love is what gives you youthful vitality and healing. That's all important. You can't sneeze at that. This is no small thing. Now, you may be in a form of disbelief where you're like, oh, it's always going to be haters. Nobody knows it better than me. Always going to be haters. But you know what? I don't live down there. I live up here where I've been reconnected. And I have people around me that care for me and love me. I'm strong enough to also love and care for them and help them as they need. And believe me, a lot of people are needing this now. You're going to see people around you struggling and having this. Medications will not always fix everything. Substances... Your soul doesn't need you to have some of that stuff. 
Your soul wants you to do the new light body work. Your soul called and they said, go to Patricia and do the light body work. So can love and hate, does your twin flame hate you? Let's just answer that question. No, because real love doesn't hate you. Okay. Human beings can fail you. Human beings always learn through trial and error. And in the forgetting is forgiveness. You may have forgotten why you got hurt or why your peoples got hurt or why that happened or what they did actually harmed you, wounded you, traumatized you. Those things are being repeated. There's people that are convinced like all of this is just going to repeat. And here's what I'm going to tell you. You're going to see more and more people come together for the right reasons and not people banding together with their old mentalities of hatred and not love. Okay. Yeah. Some people really need to get it off their chest. They have these bursts and then you know what? They get exhausted and then they get into a depression. Start to get out of those levels. Okay. Anger for too long hurts. Why? It pings back. You get the boomerang effect effect. You get that karmic two by four right upside your head. You're not going to be able to perpetuate these things. Not if you're in an activated twin flame. If you are activated and you're on your ascension, you are not going to be able to perpetuate these levels at all. Okay. But there is something better because that's another thing people wonder. They're like, but there's always bad guys, but there's always someone to hate. Not necessarily. In fact, the further away you get from it, the more it looks like a foreign place to you. It really looks like you landed on the wrong planet and you're just kind of like, can I please, please can I get to the hugging, kissing, blow me out of my body part, okay? Kiss me until I melt into you part. That's what I'm here to teach about. Not really teach about self-regulation. I can't go behind everyone with a, you know, thing of paper towel cleaning up all the messes. People have to start cleaning up their own messes. And part of that mess is messes you're still going to see as it vomits out of people because there's nowhere to hold it anymore. It is not supported. It's not supported. The upper realms are not supporting this crap anymore. Not the game playing, not the love games, not the dating games, not the manipulations, control, the hurts, the harms, the illnesses, the sickness, not being supported. Is it still happening? Yeah, you're going to see it. But get up here where you can do something positive, where maybe you can be someone that creates change. I've already written several books to help people. I've already done what it takes to get people to this level. So here's what I have coming up. And these are live. I'm not hiding behind and, you know, some kind of weird esoteric name. It's me. Hi, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Twin Flame Ascension. We're going on April 14th, 21st, 28th at 9 a.m. That's how I do it. One week, two week, th third week. We get you moving. What will you learn? Open your 5D etheric light body. You need to open the main channels and explain to you why. I'll tell you right now why. Because if you don't get it open, you're going to be either getting busy dying because you're going to wither on the vine or you're going to live and thrive. That's the direction it goes. Whoop. Okay. It just, it starts happening, but I teach you how to do it so that you can do it again and do it again. It takes a good two weeks for your channels to stay open and maintain that open position. Activate and ascend. You receive activations that are for some next parts of you for your new light body. I will teach you how to oscillate divine masculine and divine feminine energies. Do you know, there's people that talk about oscillation, oscillating the energies. They don't tell you how to do it. They're describing it. They hold up little diagrams of a battery like woo, 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 woo. Here's oscillation. You're facing each other and your divine masculine and divine feminine energies are swirling and swirling and speed up until 
you start lifting, your light body lifts. And that's how it works for twin flames. Unlike with soulmates where you're just kind of like, okay, yeah, oh, God, I just, I need a cigarette right now or I need a beer or whatever. Nope. Not with twin flames. We don't roll that way. This is how we roll. Learn how to oscillate your energies. It's real simple to get started. Okay. You have to start from somewhere. And a live Q&A along with supplements and what the energies are doing. So in my webinars, I go into much greater detail than I do in some of these videos that I do. I want to help you. And I understand that, you know, this is very new, but it's so new, but it's here. Okay. It's actually been here. It's been here, but it may be new to you or understanding that there is more to do may be new to you or understanding that you can up level. Okay. This is not 5d. I'm not pointing to 5d here, but this is an up leveled area that makes it easier to affect quantum healing. So look, a lot of people are kind of deceived into thinking that somehow they are destroying your dreams. No, it's in there. Let's get this icky stuff out. Let's develop your dreams. Let's improve your situations at work. Let's improve your career path, your money situations. That comes as the result of doing your twin flame body work. Do the new light body work. When you do it, the results are improvement, okay? And this is beyond self-improvement, like learn a new language. You have a new body. What if someone told you, hey, I can offer you a new spine? Would you go for it? Well, you came here packed with it in you, and you have seeds, and I help you get those open, bloom, and grow. Furthermore, your dreams are never gone, so even if you have a drudgery kind of job, let's get you going on your weekends and let's see what you can do. I just had two people write me that were kind of like ding dong, the witch is dead. The supervisor that was making their life kind of like a living hell. And I said, you know, don't quit your day job. It's not time. Guess what happened? They East just informed me within the past three days that that person's job was terminated. Now I said, we're not doing a ring around the rosy about this because that is a real person and they're probably not awakened. Maybe that's going to be part of their awakening, lose a job loss. Okay. They may have families. We want to wish them well. Okay. Because we are not haters. We're not haters. So we have to stop spreading around this energy of hatred and the energy of dark people. You know what? Some people just aren't awakened. And you're just going to have to live with that. But you don't have to hate them. And nor do they hate you. Okay? They're just in a little dimmer spot. And you're getting to a brighter spot on your journey. And maybe one day you will help people like that. And you will be amazed. Because you will have the proper discernment to understand. That is what the work helps with discerning and growing and being able to do by being who you are because that's how we roll and we do it with love so have a great day and i will see you soon i hope to see you there the link is below in the description bye